Hey guys, NYC <coughs> Geek Society here. Uh, we just watched the Nintendo Switch conference. Woo! I'm super excited about it. Uh, John isn't, and <laughs> <laughs> well, I I, I don't want to say that. I used I'll to be in a big Nintendo fan when I was a kid. You know, yeah. I, I still think the Super Nintendo is maybe the best video game console ever made. Um, eh, but maybe. I ha I kind of have fallen off in the past years. Uh, yeah, work gets in the way. Well, w it's just wife and kids and <laughs> no, all that shit. No wife and kids. <laughs> but um, I don't know. I just there's nothing really for me on Nintendo systems the last couple of generations. But, but I'm hoping that these announcements might have changed your mind just a little bit. Um, but probably not. <laughs> so the first game they announced, uh, Damon X Machina or Damon yeah, X Machine. Yeah, I think it was Damon X Machina. Yeah. So it it's I thought it, Some, well you thought it was by Platinum Games. It looked first. like Platinum Games kind of style, but yeah. it's some kind of mech game. I don't know who was making it, and yeah. it says it comes out twenty nineteen. Yeah, it was. It's by cool. uh, First Studio, so I haven't heard of uh, that. No, it that developer. Well to me either. Um, but it looked pretty cool. It looked like Gundam fighting and that kind of thing. Um, they had new Xenoblade Chronicles DLC, uh, the Torna DLC. Uh, I have not played Xenoblades before. Have you, John? No. Nope. No. Let's move on. Um, Pokemon, let's go Pikachu. Man, they got that uh, Pokeball Plus, and you get a Mew in it. I remember back in my day, Mew used to be a rare Pokemon. What happened? Now you just get it when you... When you buy it, this is garbage. I don't know garbage. anything about Pokemon. <laughs> oh my god, John. <laughs> like, Come literally on. nothing. I know Pikachu is the character. But we do have one game that you are excited about. Super Mario Party. It looks super... That looked interesting. Yeah. Um, that, like, they showed that you could... If you had, like, two Switches, and it had, like, um, a layout of, like... Uh, I don't know how it, you... It was like a... Um, like a puzzle that you had to put together so you had to put like uh two pieces of a map together yeah they had like yeah. a map but like depending on how you position the switch the map would be different and so like you could be playing as like a character on one switch and then it would go into where the opening that you put on the other switch lined up so i'm kind of fascinated like how does it know where it connects? Like, is there some kind of sensors that we didn't know about mm. built into the Switch? Yeah, I mean, I'm excited to play this with people at the office. Um, some people at my office have a Switch, and I don't know. We use it to, like, you know, have that camaraderie and whatever. So, next, I don't know if I'm moving on too fast. Or you have something else to say about the... the I don't have anything the else. Pario, Mario... <laughs> Mario Party. Um, it comes out October fifth. October fifth. Mark the date, guys. Um, Fire Emblem Three Heroes. This looked pretty cool. I have not. I mean, I've played Fire Emblem on like Game Boy Advance. I never played it back Fire in the day. It's kind of like um, a strategy RPG. Right. Where, right, um, right yeah. And yeah, I've heard of it. Where you have like a character and um, well, you have like a bunch of characters that you develop. And if one of those characters dies, like, they're dead oh, for the entire right. game. So you have to play the game carefully and, you know, let your characters grow up. But what was really cool about this game is that it it was played on, like, um, a 2D playing field. So you could position your characters like they're sort of like figurines on a board game. And then when the battle happens, it goes into like a 3D playing field. I feel like they might have done this on like the GameCube back in the day, but um, the, I don't know. This looks like a lot of fun to play on the Switch. Definitely can't wait for, for that one to come out. Um, it's coming out spring 2019. Um, next game, Fortnite Switch. A lot of people were expecting um, this game to come out and it did so i think it's a came out a, today yeah it, it's available out. today said so like in 10 yeah minutes. in 10 minutes from <laughs> from now yeah um <laughs> yeah. probably by the time this video goes up it'll um, be available it'll be available so go pick that up another 
I, I love this conference, dude. Um, <laughs> Overcooked 2. I don't know if you guys have ever played Overcooked. It's extremely fun uh, cooking game that you could play cooperatively with your friends. You're pretty much um, reliving your days of being a Dunkin' Donuts employee or <laughs> whatever it is. <laughs> and see your... <laughs> Some people are still living those days. <laughs> yeah, some people are still living those days, but this is way more fun than that <laughs> if you're still doing that stuff. Um, you get to yell at your friends and... Uh, I've heard it's a good date dating game kind of thing. Like a nah, it's, good game to play with your boyfriend or girlfriend. It's a good game to play with anybody. Like, I, I just play this in the office sometimes. Um... And basically, now they, now you can throw ingredients at people. That's something I always wanted to happen. Seriously, you, you couldn't do that in the other game. So you could like um, pass ingredients to people rather than like putting it on the table and then having somebody else grab the ingredient and then put you it in the pan. You just want to throw food at people. Yeah, I want to throw th <laughs> food at people. It has wireless, local, and online. I don't think the uh, I've only played the first Overcooked a little bit, but only with like. Um, only with local multiplayer so the fact that they have online play super awesome i'd love to play with my friends that are uh, down south um so they announced um some indie games well i don't know if these are all like new announcements uh killer queen black hollow knight octopath traveler this is like octopath traveler i believe was announced during the um, I think it's a Square conference, so it's like the 2D, 3D um, RPG that kind of has similarities to the old Super Nintendo Final Fantasies, but with kind of a twist. Um, Starlink, that was already announced in um, the, the Ubisoft conference. Star Fox is going to be in Starlink. Arena of Valor, Minecraft, Mario Rabbids with Donkey Kong, um, Dragon Ball Fighter Z. The Splatoon 2 Octo Expansion, Crash Bandicoot, Ark Paladins, Wolfenstein, and the world ends with you. I'm All coming with you. With you. No, Our I fans. always wanted to play that game, actually. That was on the DS, I think. Well, now you can buy a $300 system to you know, buy your $60 game, and that'll be the only Our game Nintendo you play. Switch game $60? Uh, I yeah, they are. They are. I didn't know that. Yeah, it's for the little cartridge. Um, and now, the best game of all, Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Um, I'm a huge fan of Super Smash Brothers, and I haven't been able to um, play it since. I mean. Okay, I, sometimes we have, like, game lunches and we'll play, like, the N64 version, but the last, uh, the most current version I played last was uh, Super Smash Brothers on the Wii. So that was released, I can't believe it, 10 years ago. Um, and that was a, a ton of fun at the time. But I missed, the, I missed the Wii U version, as a lot of people have. So a lot of us were hoping, um, well... Well, I was hoping that a lot of the characters from Super Smash Brothers Wii U would make it into um, Super Smash Brothers Switch, or whatever they're going to call it. But now they, they're calling it Ultimate, and the reason they're calling it Ultimate is because they have every single character from every single Super Smash Brothers game in history. They, they're touting it as the biggest crossover in gaming history. Yeah, I wonder if that's true. I think I it is. How, how, I, I guess. I mean, you you have out. like Ryu. I mean, Ryu from Street Maybe. Fighter. Cloud. How from, many characters did it say it's going to be? Total? Did it say? Did they I don't say? think they said the total. I think um, the with the original cast, like throughout history, it's sixty four. But then they're adding, um, what was it the Inklings from Splatoon, and they're freaking adding Ridley too. <laughs> Aren't you excited, John? I've never played a Metroid <laughs> game. Uh, that's, again, one of my blind spots. No, it, it, I mean, I'm excited for Ridley because I remember me and my friends would always dream about that for the, the Wii version back in the day. 
Like, wouldn't it be cool if we had really? And it it's finally like, happened. People say that like Super Metroid is one of the best games ever made, and I, I feel like mm. I should play it at some point. But again, I don't really have a modern Nintendo system. Anymore, yeah. So. I mean, and, I got my Wii. I don't know if it ever came out in the Wii shop, or if you could. Wait, what was that? I, I missed what. Super Smash. I mean, Super Metroid. Oh, Super Metroid. I, yeah, I'm pretty sure it did. Does like, it? Does it? Wii Shop still work? I don't even know. Uh, I think they're taking it offline. I, think, I feel like they took yeah, it Yeah, they're, they're taking it So down. I don't know if there's a way of me playing Super Metroid unless I whip out my Super Nintendo and buy the old school copy. But Yeah, you got like the old school Famicom, right? Uh, I mean, a friend gave me a Super Famicom, yeah. but mm-hmm. I, don't know. I, I don't know Japanese, so... I don't think that would be worth Wouldn't it. Wouldn't it be worth it? No. I, I have okay. my own, I have a Super Nintendo. Oh, I wanted to get to something that since I I know you aren't like the the biggest Smash fan, um, they also obviously since it's every character in history, Snake is gonna be back yeah. in the game, and I'm super excited about See, it. See, I'm a little bit upset about it yeah. because uh, I don't want Konami to get any money from anybody, but. Uh, Oh well, I guess they must have worked out some kind of deal. It's mm. just uh, Konami is just they're kind of horrible people that run that company. That you know they treat their employees horribly. They people that leave the company aren't allowed to put them as references, and they try to ha- make it where people can't get hired if they used to work for Konami. And they you know try to make it where since the head of Konami is like on the board over there that lets but at companies least have Snake health is insurance. In Smash Brothers. Like they make it where Isn't people it worth can't it? get health insurance. It's like no, it's not worth it. <laughs> but one thing I am curious about because they we didn't hear any voice is are they going to get David Hayter to come back? Oh, I didn't even think about that. I wonder because they didn't have any voice in there at all. Kept you waiting, huh? I wonder if he would even they, do it. I mean, they aren't even going to... Yeah, it's probably going to be somebody that's impersonating David Hayter. Yeah, I wonder. Because they aren't getting Keeper Sutherland. No. <laughs> <Hell yeah. laughs> but Duty. I, w- <laughs> I wonder. I wonder what they're going to do about that. Yeah. Well, I don't think it's going to be a modern take. They didn't mention... They 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 did mention um, some characters getting revamped. Obviously, you have Mario. You're going to have like Super Mario Odyssey Mario. Breath of the Wild... Link, um, trying to think what else, da, 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 da. Um, and there's like several upgrades to like um, Ryu. And there's gonna be a Daisy costume. All right, we got like three minutes. Okay, <laughs> there's gonna be a Daisy costume for uh, Princess Peach, and I know they they're calling these characters like I think it was Epsilon characters. Basically, they're like alternative, although they're just like alternate costumes, and they have very similar moves. Um, they're gonna work slightly differently. Like you're gonna have, um, what is it? Ike and I'm sorry, Kid Icarus and Dark Icarus. <laughs> I might be getting that wrong, but um, I don't know, they introduced like some several new mechanics. I mean, you have like the perfect shield parry, and I like that because it reminds me of like uh, Street Fighter um third strike where you could like do a parry move and it it takes like a little bit of skill to do that um you could do a short hop with a and jump i don't know there's just like several little things that they're adding to the mix i'm just hoping that this game ends up being balanced there are so many characters and i don't know we all remember marvel vs. capcom 2 there were like there ended up being like three characters that ruled the entire roster um but either way, I'm not a pro gamer. I just like to play these games. So either way, I'm going to have a lot of fun. And I'm excited to say this is coming out December 7th, 2018. I'm going to buy it day of, pre-order it, all, all that right. stuff. We got to go. All um, right. But uh, like, share, subscribe. And hit the bell. Ding. And uh, keep tuned to NYC Geek site. NYC Geek Out.